Dear Christian friends, once again, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is another day the Lord has made. It's a day that he has given to us a beginning of a new month. Let us rejoice as we gather in his presence at this worship service. Let us offer him praise and honor do his name. Let us, in the name of Jesus, celebrate this day. So I welcome you heartily to this service. And our affirmation is that we worship God, who is our helper, the one who made heaven and earth. We worship God, who reveals himself in his son, Jesus Christ, our savior, who died for our sins and for our justification. We worship in the power and the confidence of the Holy Spirit who enables us to become the children of God. So beloved, we give glory to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sing the Methodist hymn 76. love my shepherd is whose goodness fails never I lack nothing if I am his and he is mine forever grace bestowed, oh, what a transport of delight from thy pure chalice floweth. The last verse. friends, let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us at this moment continue in prayer, and I invite you to acknowledge your humanness before God. Let us confess our sins to him who only is perfect and right, and as we come before him, we remind ourselves of who we are. Our failure to love him with all our hearts our failure to love him with all our minds, 
our failure to love him with all our strength. Our failure to love our neighbors as ourselves. Let us confess our sins before him. Almighty God and our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against one another in thought, word, and deed, and in the evil we have done, and in the good we have not done. Through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate thought, we have sinned against you. We are truly sorry and we repent of all our sins for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we, together with all people, will serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. My dear one, Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Now hear the good news. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Let us say thanks be to God. We continue in prayer and I will invite you to pray and thank God for his goodness, for his mercies, for his love, for his kindness. The opportunity to see a new month, the month of May. Let us give thanks to God. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his kindness. Thank him for his keeping. The Lord has been gracious unto us. In thanking God, let us offer our prayers of intercession and petitions to him. I invite you to pray for the nations and the peoples of the world. I invite you to pray for the church, especially our church, the Methodist Church Ghana. That God will continually enrich his church with the giftings of the Holy Spirit. That in faith and unity, we may constantly be renewed for witness and service. Let us pray as a people of God for the sick, the afflicted, the unemployed, and the employed. Let us ask God's grace for those who are going through difficult times, times of anxiety, sickness, grief. Let us pray also for people who are experiencing oppression, neglect. Let us pray for the needy. Let us pray for the lost and ask that God in his own mercy will redeem them. Let us at this moment remember our friends who have requested our prayers. Pray for anyone whom you love and those who have asked you to pray for them. Grant that in the goodness of his love, God will visit them. And as we pray for those we love and friends, let us bring our personal needs before him. Let us pray for grace to live for him in time like this. Let us pray for the grace to keep the faith and to share the faith with others. Let us pray and ask God to fill us with his spirit as we journey through a new month. Pray for empowering grace. Pray for the obedience grace. Pray for submissive grace.
And let us give thanks to God for hearing us at this moment as we've prayed in our various homes. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time to meet together even in distance and to make our intercessions and supplications to you. You have promised that where two or three are gathered in your name, you will grant them their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of your servant. And may it be that you will grant us that which is most profitable to us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the hymn, Five zero, the Methodist hymn book number fifty, the hymn fifty. Is my shepherd, I will not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I will not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He liveth me. The thou hast furnished in the presence of my foes my head thou hast dust with oil anoint, anoint and my cup overflows the last stanzas Listen to our scripture readings. The first from Psalm 23, verse 1 through to 6. Psalm 23, verse 1 through to 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Our second reading is from John chapter 10. We read from verses 1 through to 10. The Gospel of John 10, 1 through to 10. The Gospel. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief 
and a robber. But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the great keeper opens. The sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger will not follow, but they will flee from him, but they do not know his voice. This figure of speech Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus said again to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The gospel of Christ. Amen. Dear beloved, the theme given us today is Christ, the good shepherd. And I would like us to reflect on the shepherding role of Jesus Christ in the context of the Old Testament understanding of God as a shepherd. So we'll be looking at Psalm 23 critically as we walk along with John's Gospel, chapter 10. Our text is John chapter 10, verse 11. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The concept of shepherding was a widely used metaphor in the ancient Near East, as well as among the Israelites. It was a common language and it was used in diverse ways. In the day-to-day -day life, a shepherd could be one who takes care of a flock. And the word use will represent such a person. In the same way, the same word used metaphorically is applied to leaders of the Israelites, people who have been called and placed in leadership. They are also referred to as shepherds. So kings were shepherds. Prophets, in a sense, were shepherds. The clan leaders were shepherds. And at a later time, and in many instances, even the Persian king, King Cyrus, was referred to as the shepherd of Yahweh. Isaiah 44, 28. Secondly, God himself, Yahweh, who is a king of Israel, was also known and seen as the shepherd of Israel. One who looks over his people and shepherds them. This imagination of the shepherdship of Yahweh is forcefully declared in Ezekiel chapter 34, where the prophet refers to God as the shepherd of Israel, having been disappointed by the activities and the leadership of the shepherds appointed for the people or elected for the people. God himself says, I the sovereign Lord, I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. God 
in many ways became the shepherd of Israel. He wasn't only the liberator or the redeemer of his own people, but he was their king and shepherd, their keeper and protector, their God who leads them in all ways. God came as the shepherd of Israel and led them in so many ways. We remember his shepherding role on the desert as they traveled through the desert. Hence, in Psalm 100, we see the psalmist celebrating the shepherdness of God in a worship contest by saying, Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord Yahweh is God. It is he who made us and we, his people, the sheep of his pasture. God, Yahweh, is a shepherd and king over Israel, his people. In the New Testament, Jesus radically identifies with God's shepherding role and shepherding activity. So Jesus proclaimed that he is a shepherd, and not just a shepherd, but the good shepherd. Jesus stands as a new shepherd, the incarnate God who became flesh and had dwell among us, identifies with God as a good shepherd. But in the case of Jesus, he contrasts himself with other shepherds by saying, he is the good shepherd. This presupposes, we can talk about the hired shepherd or the night shepherd who comes to raid, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The night shepherd could also be described as the thief shepherd, the one who comes through other means and not by the door. Jesus, the good shepherd, says he is the door to life, and he offers security to all who enters by that door. There is no other door to God. There is no other door to security. There is no other God door to salvation except the door of the good shepherd, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Christ, our good shepherd, is also the one who offers life in abundance. For the other shepherd, the thief shepherd, the night shepherd, comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But he comes to save us and offer us life in abundance. John chapter 10, verse 10. For us to live meaningfully in this life, for us to live gloriously in the life to come, the only one who guides our souls and redeems our souls is Christ, the good shepherd. The be beloved, I would like to discuss with you the shepherding role of God as revealed in Psalm 23 and that of Jesus Christ. In this psalm, the shepherd king, who is God Yahweh, is given to us as the one in whom the psalmist trusts and relies upon. But it is insightful for us to note that within this psalm, we are being called to understand God's shepherding relational graces that are available to us. And I would like to share with you four shepherding graces of God as revealed in this psalm and in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ as well. First, God's leading grace. Listen to the psalmist. He leads me beside the quiet waters. God offers us as our shepherd his leading grace. We did not ask him for it, but he offered us the grace of leading. Jesus also comes to lead us, for he says he will lead his flock and they will follow him. 
looking at Jesus and God Yahweh himself as our good shepherd, God provides us leading grace. My dear one, in our world, we are encountered with so many options and leading opportunities. People who parade themselves as leaders, but I want to encourage you. There's one who will lead us. And when we follow, and when his unerring spirit leads us, we will not miss our providential way. Jesus the Christ, who is the good shepherd, he offers us his leading grace. The grace of God that leads us through life's journey. The grace of God that keeps us through life's journey. He will lead us through the stormy moments. He will lead us through the good times. He will lead us through the time that we feel lonely and isolated. God's leading grace as a good shepherd is always available to us. Second, in the psalm, we realize that God's leading grace and shepherding grace also provides us God's providing and caring grace. We see a shepherd who provides care, a shepherd who guides and provides for his people. Listen to the psalmist. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He prepares a table before me. So says the psalmist. The good shepherd, in his providing and caring grace, will always lead us to green pastures. And where there are also quiet waters. In fact, around the quiet waters, we are exposed to attacks and the dangers of our enemies. Yet, his caring grace will protect us and guide us. Around the quiet waters on the green pastures, the sheep are exposed to devouring animals. Yet, the good shepherd will provide them what they need and care for them. My dear one, in Christ, the good shepherd, we are provided with the grace of God that cares for our souls, the grace of God that stills our souls, the grace of God that makes us calm within, the grace of God that makes us lack nothing that is spiritual and physical. Jesus, the good shepherd, provides all these for us. Thirdly, in the psalm, God, the great shepherd, also offers protecting and guiding grace. The psalmist was right to say, he guides me into the path of righteousness and for his own glory. It is so insightful to know that the word here used, righteousness, also means he guides me into the paths of prosperity, the paths of becoming greater and better, the paths that makes me well and good for his own glory. God, the good shepherd, prosper us for his own glory. God, the good shepherd, does not only provide and care, but he ensures that in guiding and leading us, we find ourselves in places where our life prospers for his own glory. Listen to John. Beloved, I wish that it will be well with you. I wish that in all things you will prosper, even as your soul prospers. Jesus, the good shepherd, cares for us. He wishes us well. He wishes that the best will always come our way. And he does so by protecting and guiding us with his grace. I wish we would learn to follow him. I wish we would learn to obey him as he leads us into the paths of righteousness. For he has good thoughts. He has good plans. As a good shepherd, he wishes us the best that we desire. And this is the God whom we've come to worship. The fourth thing that I wish to share with you is God's comforting and supportive grace, as we find in Psalm 23. Listen to the psalmist. In the valley of the shadow of death, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
God, the shepherd of our souls, offers us comfort and support, even in the face of death. Even in the valley of the shadow, a shadow of death, a shadow of darkness, when we are low, the same God who brought us up in prosperity, in moments of goodness and, and, and rightness, the same God will walk with us in our shadows of death. This is the good shepherd. And our Lord Jesus, in the Easter activities, showed us that he has gone ahead of us into the shadow of death. And by his resurrection, he assures us that he will bring us out of our shadow and the valley of darkness. The good shepherd will not leave you to suffer in the shadow of death. The good shepherd will comfort and support your soul. This is the shepherding grace of our Lord Jesus, the one who comes to us in love, the one who comes to us in comfort, the one who comes to us to guide and lead us. In the Gospels, we are reminded, Jesus says, I will lead them. They will follow me because they hear my voice. And for the voice of the stranger, they will not listen. May I ask you, my dear Christian brother, my dear Christian sister, are you following the good shepherd? Are you listening to his voice? Are you learning to be like him? In fact, this brings us to the sense of discipleship as we discuss the shepherding role of Jesus Christ. We are not only to imitate Jesus in prayer. We are not only to imitate Jesus in love. We are not only to imitate Jesus in doing good. But I want to challenge you. We have been called also as disciples of Jesus Christ to imitate him as a good shepherd. We are called to live like Christ in the world. Not only as light, not only as salt, but shepherds. Some of us have been placed in a shepherding roles and positions over our families. In the family, you are the shepherd. You are the herd. The one who cares. The one who is supposed to provide. The one who is supposed to protect. The one who is supposed to comfort and support the members of the family. Some of us are also called to play the role of shepherding in our larger societies. As teachers, lecturers, directors and managers, supervisors and doctors and people of influence in the society. I want to remind you, your role is being a shepherd as a Christian. Because in your position, you've been called to provide, to care, to protect, to guide, to comfort, and to support the people whom God has placed under you. Some of us are also offering spiritual shepherding roles. Some of you are class leaders, organization leaders. Some of you are ministering to children and are seen as children as leaders. Some of you are caring for the poor and the sick in the church. We all have been called into the shepherding role of the good shepherd. And in our disciple making, we've been called to imitate Christ as a good shepherd. How are you doing this? Are you learning from Jesus Christ, the good shepherd? Are you providing for the wandering souls in the societies? Are you caring and protecting the needy souls that comes your way? Are you comforting and sustaining those who have been rejected and neglected, especially children who are desiring for parental shepherding? Are you caring? For the people of God. Unfortunately, many of us, for the love of material gain, we have descended so deeply to depravity to the extent that we have forgotten our responsibilities given to us as Christian shepherds. 
magistrates and judges who are called to shepherd our justice in the society have been perverted for taking bribes. Like the judges of Israel, they sold the righteous one for a silver. Some of us, we've been called to be politicians. In other words, we are shepherds for social equity, communal wealth. How do you use your power as a politician and as a Christian? For some, they use their power to give contracts to the highest bidder. And then we rob the country from their wealth for our own self-interest. Even some of us, in the midst of COVID-19, instead of helping the president and the leadership to care for those in need and to support those who need something to eat, I'm not surprised. We may have chief shepherds who seek to enrich themselves in time like this. God is calling you to be a shepherd of social equity, care for people, support the needy. Some of us have been called into the world of business, and we are in leadership in business. We've been blessed to create wealth so that we will give opportunities to those who are below us and help others to grow. But through shady business, we have destroyed the lives of many we have destroyed the future of many. For some of us, we've been called to be spiritual leaders. Call them prophets. Call them teachers. Call them apostles. Call them pastors. Call them commanders of the spiritual world. We have turned our religious activity into commercial enterprise. We are stealing from the sheep, the poor, and we are robbing them as said in Ezekiel 13 we are living on them and making ourselves rich on them God is challenging us as disciples of Jesus we need to learn from Jesus and provide for the needs of our people at times it's so sad to see government officials people who are supposed to be shepherds of the needy shepherds of the ordinary people helping them to live better in their day-to-day -day life, tend to possess everything that is meant for them. We delay even the needs of the poor because we are waiting for bribes to be paid before we take action. Jesus, our good shepherd, is not just about our salvation and redemption. It's about his calling to us as a church how we reflect over the shepherding role of the church in our societies, in our communities. And as Christians, we've been called to do so. Let me remind you of the words of Peter in 1 Peter chapter 5, 4 through to 5. Peter says, Take good care of the flock given to you. Watch over them as a service to God for the great shepherd will one day appear and he will reward each earthly shepherd according to what they've done. How are you shepherding the flock of God? How are you shepherding your family as a father and as a mother? How are you shepherding the community as a community leader and one called to serve. I just want to remind you, Jesus the good shepherd will one day come to reward us who are leading and caring for the people of God. But I want to once again call on you to trust in this Jesus the good shepherd. No matter what your circumstances, he will never disappoint you he will always be with you and he will always support you. Like the shepherd in the psalm, our God who is faithful will graciously anoint your head with oil. He will not let you suffer in vain. 
he will grant you grace in the presence of your enemies, your social enemies, your cultural enemies, your political enemies, your spiritual enemies. Jesus, the good shepherd, will care for you. He will anoint your head. And you know what? He will feast you in their presence. And in his goodness, he will let goodness pursue you day by day. Jesus, our good shepherd, calls us. And I invite you to surrender your life to him. Genesi, train. Train ara ko wum, na wunyame, obejo. Adafo, anape iza waza ama hen yide. Jesus Christ, ya guanja fopa. Ona, obay, obo we, oza ama hen, na sorry bio we, nyi minye mun, za orka cha hen yide, onyinye guanja fopa. Da minti yen test, wo John, chapter 10, verse 11. Ose, E minyi guansha fupan. Guansha fupan ze nong kwa tu homa nong gwan. Ma odi ye zin kenta se yinde. Kase muno. Se woke de obi ye guansha fwa. Ogum asroto. Ogum ahro. Guansha fu ye obi ya. Wada da kase muno. Oshe ngwano do. Na ojun wano hon. Ozo wano kwe di zim. Na obo wano hon ban. Na oshe de. Ngwane di ye. Damara so, na kasa kriya so, wo ju fwa si tine mwen, wo tu mwado to wane asha fwa hon. A hyan fwa, na ebusya emu mpe yon fwa nan, wo bu wane de, wo ye mguan sha fwa. Da men ti odru bebin, azaya po kan, wo ne na sa mwen, iti le di yon anan ti cheme di yon anan wa tre de, sayro sa, oye pesha ni henen, o nyan kopon ya wo fane de, o ye ni mguan sha fwa. O sande, o nyame nam nomu, o te iji Israel fo, ashe nou hon enyi me nyam. Nyan kopan nan kasa so, wo frene de, o ye Israel hon e gwan sha fo. Ne yi, o dezi pe fe, wo Ezekiel, e di e san an, e ba anan, de, o nyame ye gwan sha fo. Sa ken ken di ke je san ena, o chremre, o nyan kopan nan yo pa mou ke de, a fe, e man kasa mo, shi shem mou ngwan. Ne man kasa ma shen wano do. O sande, nyin pa, ofo wande, won shen nun gwano den. Wa abo na abor. Wa ezi nin shen bo. Wa adan wane chiru, ama wane nyame. Na wa anya ashafo pa, amana mana, woye nun gwano. Yeta asi biyo de. O nyame oye gwan shafon. O juntofon, o denezi biyo. Won jom, o hanumu. O si, Humbra ma yen sumi radze. Yen fe nyi je na da humbra ne nyem. Onu nyi yen en shafu. Onu no ye yen. Na ye ene zi biado. Ingwan. O nyamya. O ye yen ngwan shafu. Na ye yen so. Ye ye yen ngwan. Demara so yene radi Jesus Christ. Obe yadzen. Na obe da o nyame do na nyem kwa ji e jume zin. Na nantu den bre nyame pedo nantu wun. We nwa ran jin yen ngwan. No one sorry if you will be a man that he na jim kwa we bu yeni bim. Nembo mo de dun huwe zi de. On no su ye gwan shafu pa. Dem inti jwa na sa minyi. Jesus isi. E minyi gwan shafu pan. Gwan shafu pan. Ze nun kwa tu ho manun gwan. He ne radi Jesus. Ad dun huwe zi de o ye gwan shafu. No ze nun wa bata. He ne e jaya mi kopa na. On no su ye gwan shafu pan. That means my pet ye washe in German e de ne basan embre o chum fro yin chahen wo nyaminu gwan ye hun e juma embre nyanko pana dum dezi do ye gwan shafu adofo yan kan cha nyanko pando be ye nun gwan shafu na yan ye juma bisu ansan e nyame abe ye hen gwan shafu do nyame ye hen gwan shafu ya rompo no ya dum no wadenezi zama hen Enti, zoze ken yi de, ye wun wun jom nou mou de, nyame oye gwan shafon, Christ oye gwan shafon, oye, oze adombi di yen de kan, wa abrabwe yi mou. Demi ti te za ojon to fone kan, ose, o jame kwa, ensu ta yi hon, o nyame a, o jayen da da abrabwe mou. Ona, o jayen kwa ensu ta yi hon, no jayen kwa mfou nou mem, demi nyame yi, oze adombi, 
busy giant that tower in Abraham. Now, my pede with Jesus, or your guancha fun day, guancha far at the chain at the sun, O Joe Abraham. Fall to no do. The nature, though, see him for. See him now, obey Joe a coin to tie him. Obey Joe a coin for no man. Don't see a bean. Jesus, sir, I have no guancha for. Then you know him guancha for. Why then is you on Jum and your neighbor, son of on our cross here, Guansha Fa. On my hand, I don't know Shahin Yesu. Or the I don't be my hand, no Oshahin or so. Says our John to Funakay, or say, O Jemuko in Funu Mim. Now, Otomo Pen will my town for a name. O Yame, ye had no boifo, ye had no mafo, now so, now cry also, or the I don't be crying or do. Damn, he never read Jesus Guansha Fun. Otse. He provides and he cares. Oshayan, na o cry another. The man in Henry Raza can't try him. O bonunguan huban. No beam to me in J. Nunguan infinite same. O Jawano call a zibia. Na o crown one odo a brainara. O yame, say o yo guan shafa. Na jessy day, o bo shawodo. O bo crowdo. No, it's not him. Ye Adam, as the Bible says, "Woman, now we see what cry." And you just bring me. I want you to bring me. Now we can't put it. So what can do? We need to jump on foot. No man, or jump on the Taiwan. No, no, no. Shadow, you know, go baby. Oh, ye. No, I want to cry. In foot, no man. No, in the Taiwan. No, I'm going to buy a foot. What's the matter? Now, so what's in one of the other? No, no, no. No, what is that? What talk? No, no, no. No, what Tesha will not do. And since I was a big call in Taiwan, no, I was a no coin for me, man. No, here, Bambo. Oh, here, Shafu. Oh, here, be a nanny cook, no do. And there's old Tia Bass saying there, Oh, yam, no, here, go on Shafu pen. Or the Bambo, no quantra, a dom, or the Kata, you know, do. No, GNF, or Boboy, a fool, no cell phone in the same. He guides me in the path. Of righteousness. O nyamia, o ye henu guanja fun. O za adum boye no ban. O za adum o di jehen wa kwe ina rem. Na a kenkan sam ni ye ya. Bi a osle o za o jamu kot sin ni mun. Ye botum ya sana kade. Da maka sakrona betra hende. O jehenu kot prom prom ye mu. En zama o mo si en ye. En zama o mo ye di ye. Guan Shafuna, or by no by no Jehan Wabra Wayman. Mecha, you never read Jesus, Guan Shafupan. Ne penny there, Obezian ye. Ne penny there, Obezian ye. Na bia be Jaina Kobiaran, O Jaina Kobia, Obezian ye, no wezian ye. Eminow, the other day in the years' nature. Yes, it say as a man. No yet say, Nenze. Am I wezian ye, na ye ye. Oba woman. About crowdo, bra I used to say, na is nature. Anna, I used to say, me razi, who gwan shall fall. Do tianan, nya, o jahen, noza dum by an hoban, noza dum a shay and odden, nya, oza dum by an hoban, no dan da hena brabo, no o zian ko, ye dimun. The mount nya me are a sawyer gwan shall free, or the adum be chichi henere. Na or this shaken is done. While Brabo and Witcher, na home. Let me talk to you to Fancy. Imposamanam. O who born Sema? Monsu Musubi. O Sande. Wa bow. Wa bow no puma. Na or Chichimere. She o nyamia or your guansha for our train of crowding. Da 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 or Chichinere. O shaken is done. O boy and homeban. Wombra or yet zinamo. O nyamia, or my ya pom prom wa bra bonumin. The men yamu creason and say, Oh, how I want churn at it, see ma. O kaya no ho, no boy no hoban, no shahinism. And a payment pet a metro wagon bado, Nami shall won't cry a hoin there. For who to go on your free do. Touch your go on your free. Dono, no sonumo, no bo crowdo. Na ye dobo krawo do we si wa kon kwajimara hwe gwanhwafi ye na ye ajinezin ode yesuen ode yesu nature 
or the hands here by a damn guanchafo. The young will be brave, they are Jesuful, or your man pitch or inner city jab your roa. Ye young guanchafo was its name, wa brabuemo. There ye are batting. Ye young guanchafu busiado. Ye shem yer, ye shamba, ye shem busia, there ye crow on the bone woman. Nezi o yamina tumbiara, or the mahenen, ye the shem on the Anna, a show of ye. There you go, and shall fall. A jar go and shall fall. And now go and shall fall. On your pain, go and shall fall. And I wish I wanna, on your miss on answer one, sir. Here, Mubinum, why may engine up your son con? Now you may say, yet in Amaya shall fall. A lawyer fool, a teacher fool, a church fool. Binum ya directors, a managers of role, supervisors of role, a jume biaria, binum shawasen, a bayo shafo. Now may be so there. Anna a and them by Christ, obey no, I'm a binum. Yamu binum is a national juman, a bay a soon summa shafo juma, a class leader, who matters our sorrow, a organization leader, who matters our sorrow, a shamo from the church and maintain a catesia. Anna, a year guan shall fail Juma to them bring in the Jesus Christ. Up pede, a year no. A bonk of homoban. As I do be, say, see home walk or ye dinner prom prom yem. Oh, yeah, oh, there, oh, do baby, ah, near Shazor, called one in the years and when in many more. On yam one wonder ye won't there, yim panna condo, ne riaza condo, ne sicken ye beer. Ain't he? Oh, ma, when I was one a judge in a jab you hurl. The one ya shall fool a juma or manum. A sermon, a busiamun. Oh, yeah, they are by a rufo. Unguanja for your benufa. Nay, a boy, ya yakun, nay, a say. They are magistrate and our judge. And I wish I there as a pair perrier by your juma or son of why your pair perrier guancha for. And pen pinara. Anam sika jika krenti. Yama wana wo yinya bimizi wo kwa mwuchu na homo. Yetuan mwana wo yinya mbwa yedi jisika. Ana ye guanja fupa. There ye judge. There ye magistrate. Ana rubo pepe ya humban. Nezere mwana wo yinya mbwa. Wana wo yinya mbwa. Wana wo yinya mbwa. Wana wo yinya mbwa. Wana Home so nya me pejo home de home ye a manamu in se se fa nya mena humodo ma an kwan krubia bezi ye an kwan krubia be yen afemze an kwan krubia bo tum pan wa manamu em baby be nara yen nam yani jume zido ye bo manabur yen nam yani jume zido ye si si yuaze nan kan kan be yo mia a man penine yen afemze nor boy de wana wen ye binzi or COVID 19 in Brimu, no one can have good name, no one chase the man, none can you pay now, Benya B. The memory are sooner be no. I was I saw one instead of one yet. What pedal was he on to come ye? Was it so good when I won't if ye? Say, Adama, I you re guanjafu. A say that you may, that more than yen. And try your guanjafu pa, now ye shall me be no more so. Yamu binom nyame ishe hene sadu wame hene mize wame hene aduma obane juma hunya nsane hene mize ya ya wadumbe brea anka ine juma ye obwa binom sumu wotu mpun abrabom ya ye juma pa me binom sumu ye jinabi upan ya na me juma bwano do na sike pe bwano do ya se abrabom bebre nyanka anka ina wame yonsun sumu jume zi de yenzi de ya shadofon me cha sofu Inye na yato tu yano hongko mishafu. Inye na yato tu yano hongko apostles akese. Inye na yaya yano hongko spiritual commandos. No commanders. Yano hongko sumodo. Yedigwa, yedigwa. We have commercialized the faith and the religion. Yedigwa tuan. Ni yesi sin krofu. Eye gwa nshafu pa na. De riye o nyamene on krofu. Yedi Jesus is in yedi ubo epo. As Jesus is in the real crop, there may be someone there. I'm a real one of a juma, and now that I say, Oh, you mean one. 
Bebe, jina bia ye woman, ye mfon sumo nyame dom. Let's say it's a first Peter kan. First Peter chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. Ose, guanjafo pen, ni guanjafo kasen, obabe biyo, no baba de ozi na chesrema obi biara oza ohwe ye edwuma gwanhwa dwuma ahyadensan obotu ye nka o ye na ye ya sol mu mpenfo ye na ye ya man mu mpenfo ye na ye dwuma ye mu mpenfo obaba de obotu ye nka o de minti hwe za woda hye won sey hwe de ye na ye ye fe sho nya me nzin konkona nyi nyam na bi o hwe mama wa wo ho ai so how I want to share that it's him. Go and have open on your wall. I say, I don't go back to with him. I bought to open what was that? Oh, how in him? Me chair what town for we had it? What town for a bra bomb? What town for a good him? What town for a dream? I am about to open on the name on the name of a page. Oh, send the grand of open or general home or cow home. The bomb my year now do ye. It's so baby are a boko. In your baby's way, chicka. Baby, a boko biara. O nyamena dum na ni yezi. O betsu. O sandes wa kuma na wokra. I'm a guantra for pen. And I pay me pedamutons of fro. Cry Jesus. Mezaya no. Nyo we no sorry bio no. On your guantra for pen. Genesi. For all your shenumu. Zinichir. Yes, say my woman shuffle. Say Nancy, not canodo. See an animal. Nay, and Dembra on no iron. Now don't ne ye on your beds now, a baby ara. Amen. My young bomb pie. My name's I rather catch all and a pay when I summon mo. Now make sure I'm crying there. They are jazzing in. O jina biyo wo mi biyara ni. Fa wo tu guanja fono do. Jinizi na chere na dom. He will lead you. He will offer you his providing grace and care. He will always protect and guide you. He will grant you his comforting and supporting grace. Just trust in him. Surrender to him. And if we are in the place of opportunities, in the place of leadership, please, as a Christian, know yourself as a shepherd and seek the grace to lead others to a better life. Jinabibeo nyamizuwe jinansaranadum ija enna Manager, director, judge, nurse, doctor. I will not make them call fast. Show us, sir. For Sir Razi, the Omo Waduma, I buy a guanche for Paza Mohan. O Sunday is Christ nature. Now, today is Jesus Christ. Now, the Yezi na dum, I do not share. O nyame no doma, O Zekita will say. It was a doma come and come on. The way I'm here, Dawson, the don't show you so as a man doma do. And you're in a casa. But what's a man saying? I'll come in. But he's just me and some woman, da da da. They are your answer. And so, Lord, we pray that we may not just confess you as a good shepherd, but grant us the grace to follow you as disciples and to live like you as a good shepherd. Grant us grace to offer your shepherding grace unto others in our various roles in society in the church, and even in our families. Grant us your love and grace always. And may your goodness, Lord, pursue us always and in all ways. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We end the service with a hymn, 611. Lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us.
hearts with heavenly joy. Love with every passion blending. Pleasure that can never cloy. Thus provided, pardoned, guided, nothing can our peace destroy. Beloved, thank you for being with us and let us go with the peace of God. Remember, when the good shepherd provides, when the good shepherd pardons, when the good shepherd guides, nothing can destroy our peace. Let us receive the grace of God. Now the peace of God which brought again from the death our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, with the blood of eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. And now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, beloved, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, now and always. Amen.